OVA files, or Open Virtualization Archives, are essentially compressed files of all the bits and parts of a virtual machine. They're kind of like zip files for virtualization products. And they're a common format, meaning that you can create an OVA file for one brand of virtual machine like VirtualBox and import it into another brand like VMware. To import into VirtualBox, we're going to click on File and Import Appliance and then browse to the location where the OVA file is located. This will be wherever you downloaded it. You can either double click the OVA file or highlight it and hit open. And all the parameters will load into the screen. Before we click import, be sure to reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards. It may not matter, but in the case where more than one person has downloaded this same virtual machine, you'll have the same MAC address as them unless you reinitialize the card. If you're connected to the same network, this can cause a problem with networking because there'll be a collision between the two machines. There's no harm in reinitializing the card, so just make sure you reinitialize it as a habit. When you're done, click import, and the import process will start. This process can take quite some time because OVA files typically have virtual hard drives in them, which are very large files. Let the process complete, and when it does, you'll see the virtual machine appear in your menu on the left-hand side. At that point, you can click it and start it like any other machine.